name's Christina and you're watching Proud Bookline. And today I'm going to do an original tag. I'm sure this probably already exists somewhere and I'm sorry if this is like a ripoff but I'm just too lazy to search and see if it already exists. So for me it's original at least. So it's called the associated book tag and basically it's very simple and you can do it however you want to do so i'm going to do this version and you can do whatever version you want to so basically i have a jar a glass jar you don't need a glass jar but here are 15 booktubers you can choose book characters celebrities friends whoever you like and i'm going to pull up their names, the booktubers, and when I see them I'm going to tell you the first book slash series slash author that they remind me of or that I have associated with them. So for example, just to take a book character as an example, so if I say Harry Potter then you think of the Harry Potter series. Ah, pretty obvious, but you get me. So basically you pull out one of their names and then you tell whatever book slash series slap offer that you think of. So it's just really simple and I have 50 names, I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them, but let's just begin. So wow, this, let's take this one. Do -do. So first off I have Christine Riccio, which is Paul and Banana's books, if you didn't know that. I'm going to say Colleen Hoover just because Christine really loves Colleen Hoover. I've not read a single one of those books, but she seems really, really like obsessed with them almost. So I'm just going to say Colleen Hoover, even if I probably could have said like PJO because I read Percy Jackson of the Olympians because of her old book talks. But I think I'm going to stay with Colleen Hoover. Then let's take number two. Next up I have Sarah without an H and I was almost about to say like Marcia's book but because she got so much unqualified of course but hate on her video for that book but Sarah without an H is obviously The Diviners by Libra Bray. like have you watched Sarah without an H? like you you cannot you cannot fail to notice that The Diviners was basically Sarah without an H breathes for like she lives for the diviners so that was simple the jar is too heavy to lift okay it's like heavy i'm lazy i'm sorry i already told you that and uh, next up i have gabby from gabriella pop here on youtube um mm, this is kind of a difficult one because i just want to say like marvel but that's not like an actual book so for books or offers or rather i'm going to say laney taylor she loved strange Ah, I forgot her name. It has a blue cover with feathers. Strange... something. I've forgotten it completely. But Lainey Taylor's books. She has like the... what's it called? Daughter of Blood and... something? I've forgotten all her books right now. But the author Lainey Taylor is absolutely one of Gabby's favorite authors, so I'm just going to say that. Then we have... Brandon from Brandon the Book Addict. I'm just going to say like, I think he likes Raven Voice, like Maggie Steve Walker's CD, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Next up, I have Cav from X Reading Solex X here on YouTube. I'm probably just going to say When Dimple Met Rishi just because I think that was really important for Cav and I love that book myself. So yeah, that's at least one of their favorites. And when I think about When Dimple Met Rishi, I automatically think of Cav and Cav convinced me to actually read it. So that's obviously the one that I associate with Cav. Next up, I have Jillian from The Green Reader, and I'm just going to say Susan Denard and like Truthwist and Savage, and I'm sorry that I forgot in the third book right now, but Susan Denard, and that's basically because she will never shut up about Susan Denard, and that's okay because I love her anyways. Then we have and Monica from She Might Be Monica here on YouTube and I'm probably going to go with Jenny Han's book series uh, the one to all the boys that I loved before I personally not read it but just like the aesthetic of the young Korean and the like pastel colors of the covers it is Monica so Jenny Han's or book series to all the boys that I loved before is what I associate with Monica then we have Michael from Mike the Book Lion here on YouTube 
and I could say like Adam Silvera just because I really associate Mike with Adam just because they're always stuck together and I believe that Mike has worked for Adam so I mean that's a very obvious association to make but I think that I associate him with Patrick Ness as well he really likes uh, Patrick Ness books and I just like can see him talking about it in his videos so I can say Adam Silvera and Patrick Ness for Mike I'm going to do that for Michael. <laughs> then I have Kat uh, from Catatastic, and I'm just going to say carry on um, because I'm not sure how many times she has reread that by now, but it's like 14 and I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, carry on. If you have ever watched Catatastic, you know why. <laughs> then I have Emma from Emma Books. Do I really need to say Cassandra Clear? And like the Mortal Instruments, or rather all the Shadowhunter Chronicles? Like, is that truly needed? I, I don't really think so. Like, how many copies of Sea of Bones does she have now? 14? 15? I have no idea, but she has a lot of them, and in a lot of different languages. So, yeah, it's pretty obvious why the association is done, or made. So, yeah, Emma and the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Then I have hmm, Whitney from Whitney Novels, uh, Shadow Me series, Tari Mafi, Restore Me, Ignite Me, I, just Shadow Me series. Have you watched Whitney on any social media? You basically know why. And I mean, I only read Shadow Me and still I know way more about Warner than I think I should. And I know a lot about Warner's hair for Whitney reasons. So yeah, Shadow Me series by Tari Mafi. <laughs> and then we have Sasha from, um, I believe her channel is still called A Book Utopia. And the book, I can't like say her own book scene if I suppose. So I would probably say, hmm, I would probably say Outlander. Yeah, Outlander, just because she's like really truly belongs in Scotland and she has the tattoo of the missile and Scotland Outlander last it's basically Sasha. <laughs> and now we have Natasha Polis from Tashopolis. I could say Outlander for Natasha as well, but I'm going to go with Red Rising because Pierce Brown. And that is the only reason why. I believe she loves the book as well, but I mean Pierce Brown. Do I really need to say anything more? I know that at least Jessie will support me in this decision. So yeah, I associate her with Red Rising by Pierce Brown. <laughs> so next up is actually Jessie. Speaking of the trolls which is a Swedish like saying, so don't think about what I said. So Jessie, uh, do I really need to say uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is obviously the one that Jessie gets. Like, I believe that like Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is such a long title, but we all know it because of Jessie. And lastly, we have Kevs from Drowning in Bookland here on YouTube. And this is also an obvious one if you follow Kevs, which you should do. Um, I think he's on his like 10th, 11th reread of More Happy Than Not by Adam Severa. And I truly love that book, so I think it's great. But he like knows the audiobook so well, so he can like lip sync to the audiobook in like times two speed. That is some talent and some dedication. And I think it's very obvious why I associate him with More Happy Than Not, because wow. <laughs> And he's also Puerto Rican, and I believe that the main character, Aaron Soho, is part Puerto Rican at least, in the book as well. That was my tag, I'm sorry if I'm like stressing through it, I don't know why, because I'm actually pretty calm today. But that was my tag, I truly hope you enjoyed, you can do it if you want to, but I'm going to tag five people, just because I want to tag people. So I'm tagging Gabby, I'm tagging Cavs, I'm tagging Cav, and I'm tagging Jillian, and I'm also tagging Emma, you are all tagged and if you want to do this tag and you have not been tagged then please go ahead and do it you don't have to do this version i'm just very into booktubers which sound kind of weird but i just truly really love booktubers and i'm involved in the booktube community so that's why i chose to do that you can do however you want to Ow, that hurt. Sorry for rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Your support truly means the world to me. And I hope you have a great day slash night slash whatever part is for you. Bye.